Hi team, welcome to our third communication update video for 2014. As we enter the spring market in the southern hemisphere and the fall market in the US, this quarter is traditionally the busiest period of the year. And of course we now start the run through to the Christmas break. I know, way too early to start talking about Christmas, but if our clients want to either sell or buy and move before Christmas, realistically there are only five weeks left to achieve that. So be sure to have a clear plan for the next five weeks. They will be critical to how strong we finish 2014. Well, after a particularly strong first half of this year, we certainly saw a little heat go out of the market through winter, no pun intended. Uh, but I believe this is a real positive. The current market is more balanced, and rather than the boom-bust type markets in the past, it is a more sustainable market. I believe we are now at the beginning of a period of consistent growth and improvement. In every market we have seen little or no new home development for quite some time, and with continued population growth at the same time, we are now seeing greater demand, resulting in both price and volume growth. Coupled with the spring market, I am really excited about the next quarter and next year. Well, we've certainly had a few team changes around the group in the last quarter. Tina Sander, Head of International, has made the decision to leave the HIL team and move into a sales consultant role with Dane Atherton's Harcourt's Coastal team on the Gold Coast. Thank you, Tina, for all that you have done while a part of the corporate team, especially for our international team. And I wish you all the success that you deserve out on the field. Steffi Andrich has returned from maternity leave and resumed her role as HIL Chief Financial Officer. Welcome back, Steffi. Dean Wilkinson did an exceptional job in Steffi's absence and has now accepted the role of International Development Manager. Dean will now focus on the research and resources needed for our continued international growth. It's great to be able to keep Dean in the group. Rob Ford, formerly CEO of New South Wales, made the decision to move into office ownership, taking up the Harcourt's Lower North Shore franchise. Thanks Rob for all the hard work with our New South Wales group and all the very best for the future. Welcome to our new CEO for New South Wales, Mark Morrison, who joined the team this month. I look forward to seeing the continued growth and success of the group in New South Wales under your leadership, Mark. It was also announced this month that South Australian CEO Greg Moulton has left the group. Greg had been the CEO since the inception of Brock Harcourt South Australia in April 2004 and did an excellent job. In the interim, Harcourt South Australia BDM Andrew Freeby will be acting CEO and with the support of Australian Operations Manager Marcus Williams as we look to identify and appoint a new CEO. Well, if there's one thing that is constant in our industry, it's certainly change. Across the group, we have an outstanding quarter for growth, with 34 officers joining the Harcourts team. Standouts last quarter were Victoria, New Zealand, South Africa and the US. Welcome to all that have just joined. It's great to have you a part of the Harcourts family. Landmark Harcourts were busy this last quarter with a number of key initiatives. After a successful campaign last year, the team are excited to once again host the exclusive China Property Showcase in China at the end of this month. Last year, the event introduced more than $185 million of Australian properties to Chinese investors. Under the banner Connect with Australia, Landmark Harcourts has joined with influential groups of both business and media partners to stage a series of events. This year, the Landmark Harcourts team will showcase a variety of investment options to potential investors in China, with 54 listings to showcase and 15 Australian business owners in attendance. We really look forward to hearing the results from this year's showcase. Well, our New Zealand team has done it again. In our industry, we know that trust is essential for building long-term relationships with clients, and Harcourts New Zealand have made it to the top of the list once again. For the second consecutive year, the New Zealand team has been recognised by Reader's Digest as New Zealand's most trusted real estate brand. This award ensures the Harcourts brand in New Zealand is truly top of mind for strong ethics, values and genuine professionalism a significant competitive advantage for the group. Well done to the entire team. You continue to set the benchmark for our entire group. In Indonesia, the team have just held their mid-year awards function. 
our former head of international, Tina Sander, gave her last international update, and our international system support, Stephen Green, gave a presentation on the power of the Harcourts brand. Another outstanding event and celebration. In the US, our corporate team have just announced their conference dates. We will be returning to the Riviera Palm Springs on the 10th and 11th of February for our first conference of 2015. Registrations are now open and this is definitely something to mark in your calendar now. Look out for program details which will be released in the coming weeks. Queensland's head auctioneer Ben Brady along with partner Callista Green recently made the move to the US to launch the Harcourts auction process. The feedback so far has been outstanding with both the team and sellers embracing the concept. With 12 auction listings already, the team is really starting to gain momentum. Although I can't believe the first Harcourts auction sale in America was sold prior to auction. A little soft bend. But seriously though, this really is something exciting and shows real courage as our team look to change the industry. Our international marketing team have just launched the second campaign for 2014, Clients for Life. The purpose of this campaign is to highlight the most important part of our business, our clients. The delivery of this campaign is critical to the strength of the message. So I encourage you to reconnect with as many past and present clients as possible and share the message that reiterates their importance to us. Whether it's via thank you cards, DL letterbox drops, video messages or social media interaction. Imagine the power if every person in our organisation sent just 10 thank you cards to clients in the next 30 days. That's over 100,000 cards with our branding going into the market. A short video on the campaign has been created to share with your database and post to your social media pages. Use hashtag Clients for Life so the world can see the strength of our brand. The campaign is available for Harcourts, Landmark Harcourts and NAI Harcourts and all products are available through Campaign Track. Check out our Harcourts International Facebook page or Twitter account for the video clip. Let's make this go viral. The E1 app is now available for iPhone in New Zealand, Australia, Fiji, South Africa and soon in the US. The app allows our team in the field to carry their most important data in their pocket with quick and easy reminders and fast access to calendar entries. There is no doubt that the world is going mobile, so it's vital for us to ensure that we take Harcourts One mobile. E1 allows you to do just that. If you haven't downloaded it, do it. It really is vital. It's been an exciting month in Australia with the launch of Squiz. A national roadshow was held to introduce the portal and app, and as with realestate.co.nz in New Zealand, Squiz is a 100% industry-owned online portal created and supported by all major real estate groups as well as many independents from around Australia. This is an exciting opportunity for our industry to take control of online real estate marketing. It is absolutely vital that we all get behind it in Australia and support this great initiative. Well, finally, I am excited to announce that our 2015 BLC, our Business Leaders Conference, has changed location. We will be moving the event to Melbourne and it will be held at the Crown Casino, Crown Promenade on the 18th and 19th of February 2015. We are currently working on finalising our programme and have some exciting new changes, but we'll send through more details shortly. Be sure to mark these dates in your diary, you don't want to miss it. Well thank you for taking the time to watch this update. Be sure that you plan and stay focused over the coming months to ensure that you finish this year on a strong note. I look forward to catching up with many of you over the next few months.